Hey everyone, so today on Besser's Basics, I am going to teach you how to perfect the blanching method. I love blanching because it actually really preserves the color in all of your vegetables and because of the short cooking time, it makes your veggies stay nutritious. So basically what happens is your veggies become brighter and healthier. What more could you ask for, am I right? So today I'm gonna teach you a few tips and tricks to make sure that you perfect the blanching method every single time. Let's get started. So with blanching, you wanna start with water at a roaring boil, and then we're going to salt our water. Don't be shy with the salt, I mean it. Like this water should be saltier than the Dead Sea. Once the water is boiling, we're going to throw in our green beans. You only wanna cook your veggies for about 30 seconds to a couple minutes, depending on the thickness of what you are blanching. If it's thicker, cook it for longer. You know your veggies are ready when you can easily bite or cut through them. So we're going to strain our green beans, which leads us to the most important step. Once they are strained, we are going to immediately throw our green beans into an ice bath. This shocks our vegetables and stops them from cooking any longer. Just make sure you don't leave your veg in the ice bath for too long or else it will actually pull out some of the flavor. The great thing about blanching is that it evenly cooks all of our vegetables. The salt helps season the green beans from the outside in and it can even take away some of the bitterness of vegetables too. See how much brighter our green beans are? That's because blanching our green beans pops the air bubbles surrounding the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll gives vegetables their color. This process allows the veggies to turn even brighter. Congrats, you've officially learned how to become a blanching master. See you next time.